Today, we are prank calling large corporations and we have the next four hours to complete these 10 prank calls with the last one being having to trick a business into sending us a free product worth over $100. That's impossible, you dumbass. And if we can't complete these prank calls within the time limit, then we have to leak our phone numbers in our Discord server with over 4,000 members. The timer started. Four hours. What's the first challenge? Call a Walmart and say that you're stuck in the bathroom. Help! Can you hear me? No, I can't hear you. I'm the operator. Uh, start bleeding. I, I don't even... Like, start like... <sighs> okay, let me get home shortly. Help! <laughs> oh, emergency, you got it. What'd you say? I think he said emergency. <laughs> oh no, dude, imagine they get the fire department to pry open the fucking bathroom. <laughs> Fuck. Sir, are you there? What? Sir. Yeah, I'm still here. I got the door open. Okay. Thank you, though. Okay. Appreciate it. <laughs> you sounded so relieved. <laughs> yeah. Okay, first one down. Good job, Zerk. What's the next challenge? Fake being an employee and calling sick with an insanely funny reason. And that reason is going to be... I tried anal for the first time last night and now my ass hurts really badly. That's a pretty good one. Hey, it's Mike. I just wanted to call and let you know that my, uh... I tried some butt stuff last night. Let's say you can't walk first. Like, say, I got put in a wheelchair last night. I tried your dose. This is Jen. Hey, Jen. Uh... It's Mike. I was just calling in because I'm not going to be able to make it to work today. Which Mike? I'm sorry. What's your last name? Miller. <laughs> that was so slow. Okay. <laughs> um, hang on a minute. No worries. Um, Give her the excuse. I don't know if this is like valid to not come in for, but I tried butt stuff last night. And when I woke up today, I couldn't walk. And I just don't know what to do. You tried what? <laughs> I I tried butt stuff last night, mm -hmm. and when I woke up today, I just I couldn't walk. Okay. What is your scheduled shift today? What time are you supposed to be here? It was supposed to be 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a 2 to 9 scheduled for you today, Mr. Miller. Oh. Um. Wait. So I didn't even have to. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh yeah. My my butt is <laughs> ramping like crazy. It's I don't. Have you ever done that kind no, of stuff? No, 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 Butt stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah butt, no. yeah, butt stuff. Yeah, no, not, not lately. What? Do you usually lube it up? No, um, no, dude. Wait, Jen. <laughs> mm hmm I, do you suggest, like, I should lube up more? Because I kind of went dry this oh time. God. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have no recommendations for you. Okay. <laughs> Why is she still on the phone? Why isn't she hung Thank up? you, Jen. I hope you have an amazing day. I'm sorry. You too. You too. Bye now. Bye. That bitch was sick. Yeah, Jen was dope, dude. No, no, no. Nah, nah, she was sick in the bedroom too. I want to. I want to meet Jen. Yeah, she's I a nice lady. Dude, that was so <laughs> gross. That was amazing. Two challenges down. We still have three hours and 40 minutes until we have to leak our phone numbers. Okay, the next one. Riz up an employee until you get their social media. Holy fuck, that is hard. I'll do it. Who am I calling? You know what's a guaranteed? A nail salon. Mm. Here we go, fellas. Seven. Zero. Oh, two, so good. Call another five. one. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm gonna call from him. Cool. Wait, wait, answer, 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 answer. All right. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> hey, who's this? Hola, hola. It's a uh, guy. Uh, you, damn. Jack. Are you my appendix? Cause I feel like I need to take you out. What? Sure. Nice. Do you have an Instagram? Swift. What is happening, dude? What just happened? <laughs> he hung up on me. Hello? Hello, can I have you? Why is it a dude again? What's going on? Your eyes are like Ikea. I'm totally lost in them. <laughs> it's too much. Alright, let me hop in. I'm an expert. Hi, is this um snail salon? Yes, uh-huh. Hi, so my mom's birthday's coming up next week, and I was wondering like what kind of like stuff you guys do and if maybe that would be a good gift for my mom. You could get her uh, manicure and pedicure. How much would something like that be? Uh, that's depend on... We're just having a normal conversation. Want to have. <laughs> Let the man have cook. It. It's my mom, so we gotta do the best for her. Mm, that's good. That's nice of you. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> do, does she have nails on? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, no, she has no nails on right now. She doesn't even have fingers. Why don't you... Her. You can buy certain amount. So is that what you want me to do? Or um. <laughs> what the 
This is the most normal conversation. He should have heard. Seven a normal conversation. And bro. Uh, you will call us, and we will care for her. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, what was your name? Uh, Amy. Amy, Amy. It was really nice talking to you. Um, do you have like a? Do you have an Instagram or anything at all? Uh, no, no. Oh, okay, you're Thank good. You. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, bye. Sizzle, you are a fucking wrist heart. Dude, oh, I was fucking on that call for four God. minutes talking about all the options. I feel like you actually <laughs> tricked yourself into thinking you're buying a nail package for your mom. Alright, I blundered. Someone else has to go in. Hello, can I help you? Is this the lounge? This is the nail lounge, yes. Amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna be coming in there soon to surprise my mom. What service are you looking for, though, for her? Well, uh, probably just a mani-pedi. A what? Okay. Um. Yeah. It's. Wait. It's, hold, oh, uh, it's, hold on. It's really open. quick. What's What's your name? This is Tanasha. Tanasha, that's a beautiful what? name. Thank you. What's your mom's name? Her name is Tracy. Wait, Tanasha. How old are you? Um. Does it matter? I mean, you sound young. Like you sound my age. I just wanted to get to know you a little. No. <laughs> it's not. It's not polite to ask a woman of age. You know that. Oh, well, I'm like I'm like a 40 year old grown man. You know what I mean? I didn't really think it mattered at this it's age. It's okay. It's all right. No problem. So I'm old enough to work here. Okay, I'm old enough to come and say hi, huh? Yeah, yes you can. That sounded like a threat, dude. I'm gonna harass her. That sounded like a threat for sure. <laughs> 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 oh, you should tap in. Oh fuck. Okay. I don't know how to raise without harassing her. What? Never happened to you. How old are you? Uh, I'm 19. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
Uh-huh. Basically, what's been happening, I'll go to bed, and in the night, I'll have a dream. All I see in my head is like a puncturing thing while I'm sleeping. And then when I wake up, my butt just hurts. <laughs> like, I think a ghost like, is fucking... I think I'm being paranormally assaulted by some type of fiend or entity. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that definitely happened. Um, what? so what we could do is do a healing, and we can also look at what, whatever contract you have, may have created with that being. Well, I haven't- um, I haven't been having no gay thoughts or anything. Like, maybe in the back of my head, like, I might be, like, a little gay, but... <laughs> I, I don't think that would be enough, you know what I mean? Yeah, as I was saying, it's really just uh, the entities that are trying to take over your own consciousness. Sometimes they're from this 3D world, and sometimes they're from other dimensions, so... Wait, it's an interdimensional gay dude that's fucking me in the ass every night? <laughs> Look, I didn't say that, so I don't know, but I'm just giving examples of what potentially could be out there. Um, yeah. thank you. I'm gonna call around a few more times, because I just gotta get this dude out of my bowels. Thank you so much. Oh she my god. <laughs> That's another one marked off the list. We have six to do still and only two hours left until the punishment. Get Swift to call somebody about his pregnant wife. Okay, who do we call? We need like a a, a, a woman who like a caring woman to answer though. Thanks for calling Home Depot. To connect you to the right person, briefly describe what you're calling about. Giving birth? <laughs> I'll connect you with someone who can help. Sweet. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Imagine oh making god. minimum wage and this is oh what you god. pick up. Oh my god! 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 This was evil laugh. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's here! It's here! This baby is black! Where did your team help me win? Who did your team win? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> no, no. What do I do? The baby's oh black. The baby's black, dude. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Keep I'm going. white. I'm white as a ghost. <laughs> she cheated on me, that bitch. <laughs> okay, I got a real customer here. <laughs> You're a good sport. Thank you, brother. Uh, <laughs> what just happened? What the fuck oh, that was so good. He was laughing his ass off. Bro. Really? You just made that guy's entire year, bro. Call a company that is urgent hiring is an ex-con that did something fucked up. You would kill this one. Okay, let's figure out what's the fucked up thing I did. Prostitution. You were selling your body for money. Mm. Plumbing. I'm trying to get a job there. Thank you for calling Plumbing. This is Melissa. How can I help you? I was just calling about a job inquiry if I could apply for a job at Yeah. Absolutely. Does it matter if I'm an ex-convict to work at your service? I got to a really low point and I just sold my body and was a gay prostitute for two years. <laughs> This is plumbing, right? This is plumbing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Say, yeah, because I used to get my pipes clean, but now I want it the other way around. Are you being serious? Yeah, I know it sounds bad, but I don't know. Coming from a background of getting my pipes cleaned, I just wanted to see if I can do that service for other people. Is she laughing? Wow. I don't know, man. A couple dicks in my ass isn't that bad. Wow, dude. <laughs> well, at the same time? God damn. Yeah. You must whistle when you walk. No, it, I can I can fit a lot. What about you, Melissa? That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. You ever been able to fuck a customer? <laughs> no, don't say that. Please don't say that. One last question, though. Let's say I got the job, right? Uh-huh. Do customers ever, like, want to have their other <laughs> pipes cleaned by the plumber, too? <laughs> if you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I've I've heard those legends. Cause like if I can kill two birds one stone, I'm I'm coming. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet you would be. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you have an amazing day. Oh. All right. You too. Bye. Bye. Love you. All right. All right. All right. Nice. All right Bennett. That was fucking good. That's the next one. We have to call a pet groomer and try to book an appointment as a furry wanting to be cut in their fursuit. I got it. I'm doing it right now. Hello. Hiya. Do you know what a furry is by chance? No. Okay, so basically, she I knows. wear this, like, suit she that's knows. like a six-foot person suit, right? And I was wondering mm -hmm. if I could come in and get it cut, like, groomed, right? No, you can you can go to a tailor for that, I believe. A tailor? <laughs> rough, rough. A tailor? But I identify as a dog. But I identify as a dog. Oh, 
Okay, have a great day. <laughs> oh, why are you? No, don't hang up. No! I'm never going to get groomed. Famous last words until Bennett comes over. Jesus uh, Christ! Putting himself Sorry. right out Fuck, there. Fuck, man! I don't know why I said that. <laughs> that's kind of great. <laughs> All right, check mark. We have three challenges left and only 53 minutes to do them, or we have to leak our phone numbers. You have to call an advice helpline and tell the person something fucked you did, and the challenge is only completed when the person on the phone gives you advice. I'm gonna say I have an addiction. Anytime I see a wheelchair at the top of the stairs, I have to push it down. Says I'll try to call this number. These guys will give you a free consultation. That's a lot of zeros, bro. This looks like Swift's Chick Fil A number. <laughs> Calls may be recorded. Please hold to be connected. This is nice music. This is hard as fuck. Uh, I'm a beat with uh, this. If you have kids, hide them from Swift. If hey. you have kids, hide them from Swift. Berserk and okay, Mel have a child pedophile ring. Okay. Dude. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, Berserk, Berserk, your word is pistachio. Pistachio. I'm coming all over face. It melts. I mean <laughs> <laughs> You're coming all over my face? Hello, I'm so sorry about that. Hold up, can we help you? Hello, is this the free consulting hotline? Hotline? Yes. What type of case are you inquiring about? I would classify that I have an addiction. When I see a wheelchair at the top of a staircase, I have to push it down the stairs. Somebody in if, it. Even <laughs> if there's a grandma in it, even if it's empty, am I able to like keep doing it or do I really need to go like <laughs> seek therapy? I would suggest seeking therapy, sir, just in case you accidentally do harm someone. But can they even like prove I did it? If it's a grandma in a wheelchair and the wheelchair's facing the stairs, and I push it from behind, how is how is she even gonna know I pushed it? So there's like no proof, right? I mean, technically, yeah. I mean, if you kind of <laughs> don't care about their life, then there's no harm towards you. Okay, thank you so much. I am going no to go problem. find a grandma. <laughs> you have a nice day. You too. <laughs> She laughed, she laughed. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we marked that down. Literally, all we have to do is riz somebody up and then get a free product. All we have to do, as if we all didn't try and get fucked. And how much time is on the clock? How much time? We have 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Swift, 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 raise up now. I'll raise a bitch right now. I'm raising. Swift, raise a bitch. Raise a bitch. <laughs> okay, okay. Who are you calling? I don't know. Hey, how can I help you? Hello, I think I've seen you in a book somewhere. It was really fine print. Oh my god. Huh? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Crazy buffet, how can I help you? I was wondering your guys' availability today. What? Um, look, I won't flirt with you. I'll just be extra friendly to someone who is ex extra attractive. This is so dumb. Are you brain dead? Bro, I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. Trying what? She wouldn't fucking understand what I was saying at all. Yeah, why would you call a fucking Asian buffet restaurant to riz up? That was an Asian buffet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you want to, you guys want to do this challenge? Because I promise you, I'm going to fumble. TJ Maxx, this is Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? I'm doing good. Yourself? <gasps> I'm doing amazing. I'm gonna be honest. I was in the store earlier Smart. today, no, and I was you... hoping you would answer. Whoa. Um, you were so beautiful, and I was wondering if uh, I could get your number or your Instagram or something. Um, I actually cannot give that information out to company policies. Ah, uh, we're never gonna get this, bro. Sir, could you tap in? Hello, this is Erica speaking. <gasps> Damn. Hey Erica, um, I was actually walking by earlier and I, I saw you. Sounds really weird. I it totally is. And I was like, Erica is bad. I'm sorry. I, it sounds really upfront, but uh, I was wondering if I can get your Instagram so you can see what I look like too. It's a once in a lifetime thing. I was like, I can't miss this. You know what I mean? Um, sure. What? What's your Instagram? Can you, just, can you text me? I actually can't text right now. Could I just get your Instagram, and then I'll I'll shoot you a DM. Um, my Instagram. Shut the fuck up. Sweet. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. See you later. Love you. Bye. You know you love me. Holy Let's fuck! fucking go, dude. Good shit. We have 22 minutes to trick a business into giving us a free product over $100, or we have to leak our phone numbers. Oh my god, how are we gonna do that? Why do you guys make the last house always a fucking impossible, dude? Okay, listen, we can think. Think. Sizzle, are you here? One more scroll. What? 
Joe. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm calling Apple. What do I say? <laughs> what? Welcome to Apple. How can I help you today? Your earbuds fucking exploded in your ears and you can barely hear anymore. <laughs> my headphones exploded in my ears and I need a replacement. Okay, I'll get you right over to our technical support department. Thank you, fat ass. <laughs> Hi, thank you for contacting Apple support. Can you go ahead and provide me with your Apple ID, email address, or phone number? Uh, no, not right now. No. I forgot it. So, I, I was listening to music with my AirPods on, and one of them just popped, and I just, my ear was started bleeding, and I was curious if there was a way to, like, get a new pair of AirPods, because I could sue your guys' company, you know what I mean? But I don't want to do that. Oh my god, they we're literally defrauding the company and filming. <laughs> Um, technically, I have to get this escalated. We're gonna get sued. I don't wanna do this, guys. You said you don't remember the app like I don't know, dude. Fuck this, dude. Fuck, man. How do we do this? Somebody call McDonald's and say, like, you want $100 in nugs because you got a fucking rat in your thing. Hi, thank you for calling McDonald's. How can I help you today? Now, listen, I've had it up to here today. <laughs> okay. I had a burger earlier. It had a rat tail in it. Dude. Oh, my God. Okay. Like a big rat tail, like a genetic freak rat tail. Thank you for calling Raising Kings. This is Tisha speaking. How can I help you? I have a little bit of an issue. I ordered just over $100 worth of food. And then when we opened the chicken fingers, uh, a couple of them had bites taken out of them. And I just want to know, like, <laughs> what can we do about that? Did you order closest to the crew or to the right-hand side closer to the lemonade? You're going to get somebody fired. Fucking hang up. This is fucked. Yeah. What the fuck can we do to get free shit? Like, there's no way to do this where it's not either fraud or just unethical. Like, fuck, man. We got a minute left. Do we call it? One more call. One more call. Swift, Swift, tap into one call. Final Hail Mary, Swift. You're doing the final Hail Mary. Uh, Let's what go. store? Donuts! Oh, we're doing a charity and we're looking for the throwaway donuts for the event. All right, you guys ready? Imagine he actually gets it. You never know. This actually could work. I feel like this is our best chance. Oh, I'm nervous. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. we're going. Hello? Hola. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Hi, Seth. How can I help you? Do you guys have a bunch of donuts that you guys throw away at the end of the day? For what? Um, so essentially, my mom has brain cancer and we're no! looking to Dude! throw a charity event for her. And um, I was wondering if we'd be able to potentially get uh, all the, the donuts that you throw away at the end of the day because you're throwing them away anyways. I was wondering if, if we could arrange something of that sort. <laughs> you can't do that. Oh, how many dozen do you want? Hundred dollars worth. Hundred dollars worth. Oh, we were thinking uh, probably like a hundred dollars worth. Okay, maybe one dozen is at fourteen ninety nine plus tax. Free. I want it free. I don't know how many do you want. For free? Yeah. For is that when? is that for free? For free? Yeah. Two donuts free and one dozen. Two donuts free for one dozen. I was thinking we could yes. get the full dozen, then multiply that by like three, and then I could get all of those but for free because you're gonna. Oh, there goes our numbers. Fuck! Fuck, man! I'm sorry that I used uh, a terminal illness for to get free donuts. I. Yeah. Sorry. Well, at least you didn't get the free donuts. Well, now we gotta leak our numbers, guys. Yay! All right, we're doing the punishment. We're leaking our phone numbers in the Discord. Join the Discord and call us, text us, whatever you want. Thanks, Mel, for choosing that challenge, dumbass. You're welcome. Yeah, fuck you, Bennett.